Okay, if you don't know who this is, um, this is Taylor Lorenz. And um, she's known for fighting with the libs of TikTok chick because she's one of these nutsos who's for the uh, trans bullshit and all of that agenda garbage and everything. So she harassed the fuck out of the libs of TikTok gal so much that um if i remember right she went i think it was she was trying to find her mother's house or something but it ended up being the the grandmother's house or something there's a video of this where she's at the door you can see the person filming her at the door it was like a a glass door or something and she keeps ringing the doorbell and she's like did you know that are you aware that your daughter's harassing trans people online and uh, causing them suicides and all this bullshit, and she's hurting gays and blah, 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 and just all of this agenda garbage. So, um, if I remember right, I think she was, I think it was New York Post or something that she was, she was with some big, huge uh, newspaper thing, and she ended up having to retract and apologize for like hundreds of articles she did. Because she just made up tons of bullshit about the libs of TikTok gal. Well, anyway, she ended up getting fired. They actually f had enough of her bullshit and fired her. And then, um, I can't remember who, who, what, what this show she, she was on some show where, um, it was about online bullying or something, and she's on there in tears crying, going, oh, I get harassed all the time online, and oh, victim card, and all this, so she's crying away, and man, she got roasted the fuck for that. She got totally just destroyed, because everybody saw the video of her at the Lib of TikTok's gal's uh, mom's house, or grandma's house, or whatever, screaming at her at the door saying your daughter's harassing gays and all this. So here she is now, like basically unemployed and she's going through all of these, um, articles about, uh, woke news crap. That's, um, getting shut down everywhere, like Buzzfeed and all of this crap that nobody gives a fuck about. And she's on here crying about it going, Oh, journalism is dying. All the humanity and all this bullshit. So I'm glad it's dying. I'm glad all of this fucking mainstream garbage is dying. I'm glad this piece of shit's out. This lady is just a total fucking insane bitch, man. To show up at some lady's grandma's house screaming about tranny suicides and gays and all of this just fucking stupid bullshit that nobody gives a fuck about. And then to go on a show and you're crying about bullying and harassment. You have got to be kidding me. Anyways, let's listen to this idiot. Well, you know what? I want to add some music to this. This this fucking nuts of needs a... Here, where is it? All right, here we go. This, this music always... You can never go wrong with this. Here we go industry is basically in a free fall. Today, the Los Angeles Times laid off 115 employees. They wiped out their entire DC bureau in an election year. They laid off pretty much all of their sports teams. They killed their entire tech and business section. They Good. laid off breaking news writers, Die. social media editors. The list goes on. Rest but what's in really peace, dark is this is just the latest in months and months and months of layoffs in the media industry. Good. In fact, tens of thousands of journalists have Good. been laid off in the past year. Major media companies like BuzzFeed News have completely shuttered their news operations. Time Magazine also just laid off a ton of people. And oh, Sports Illustrated basically shut down last week. Pretty much the entire digital media ecosystem that myself and a lot of other millennial journalists came up in has been completely hollowed out. And Good. it's not just digital media Good sites. Job. Local news has been obliterated. The newspaper you, industry idiot. is cratering. Radio is essentially Good. dead aside from NPR, which has been gutted. Meanwhile, hundreds of workers at Condé Nast, the radio is not dying. pretty I don't much know every major magazine that. from GQ to Vogue to The New Yorker to Vanity Fair are on strike because they're also the radio facing more than impending layoffs. The car, Even like mainstream AM, national media outlets own 
owned by billionaires like the Washington Post, where I work, and the Atlantic, where I used to work, have done layoffs. If you're a young journalist today, there's almost no on ramp to traditional journalism. Even if you do get you're a not job, doing journalists, salaries journalism. have been stagnant and even declined. And by the way, we don't make that much to begin with. I don't think people Good. understand you're how overpaid. bad the world would be without journalists. And let me just preface Good. this by saying for people that don't know my background, I did not go to journalism school. I built oh, my that, own yeah, audience we know on the that. internet. I came from outside journalism and started as a blogger and then entered into <laughs> legacy journalism, a system that I have been incredibly, incredibly critical of pretty much my entire career. Yeah. So I'm definitely not some mainstream media defender. Oh, you're and a I fucking think the rise loser. of citizen journalism on apps like TikTok, Instagram, and elsewhere has overwhelmingly been a positive thing. The journalism industry is overrun with elite, underqualified, rich, entitled Nepo babies. Okay. And that's yeah, and you're one terrible. of them. But that's not most journalists. And the majority no, of that's journalists you. losing that's their you jobs in situations like this are the working journalists that are doing these investigations of police brutality or investigating corporations or holding power to account or doing really thoughtful, brilliant yeah, holding cultural limbs of TikTok commentary. To account, I screaming at her grandmother. All of the news is delivered How's that for accountability, you idiots? With retention editing. And I think there's a ton of really talented journalists. No, there isn't. just not great, like, social media people. I think of some of my friends who are journalists who do really deep investigations or local reporting or sit through hour-long city council meetings to, you know, hold some local politician to account. That's really important work, and it's work that somebody should pay for. And no, it's work that's not rewarded by these social media algorithms. I would love if everyone could become independent journalists, but the economics are just not there. It's really, really hard to amass no, a subscriber this. base and then retain that subscriber base. The reason that you can't retain the subscriber base is because you're a fucking liar and you spend all your time harassing the libs of TikTok gal for your tranny idiot friends and all that garbage and harassing some poor grandma, you fucking loser. Everything what you're saying on here is exactly what you are. I fucking hate this lady. She's just a total piece of shit over time when you're doing investigative work. And that's if you don't get sued out of existence, by the way, after you publish well, the maybe first critical be story of a billionaire. Things, and I will admit, a lot of these traditional media companies have accelerated their own demise. They ignored the internet for years. They're condescending to content creators and people outside their mainstream ecosystem. They constantly kowtow to corporate and political power. They have these false and deluded notions of objectivity. Which no, that that's all you. That's everything what you're doing. You're condescending. You're a stupid bitch who, instead of doing real journalism, spent her time obsessing about libs of TikTok. Where did that get you, huh? You got fired and made an ass out of yourself. Then you're going and crying about being harassed online. Eat shit which, by the way, doesn't exist. And they push a lot of really racist, sexist, regressive crap. Oh, but that's God. not even See, this why is a lot of them I mean. are going out of business. A lot of them are going out of business Good. fundamentally because Die. the economics of the media ecosystem are broken. Most news companies used to monetize by advertising, and those ad dollars have been completely subsumed by Facebook and Google and tech giants. I don't really know where that leads us other than a pretty dire place where there's really no check on corporate and political power in this country. I did write a lot about this in my book called Extremely oh, Online. And I do did. think that journalism is something a lot of people won't realize they miss until it's gone. No, I'm glad it's gone. Please stay away. Die. Die, die, die. All of it. Fuck off with this shit. If I want to see what the news is, I'll go turn on Tim Pool or Salty Cracker or something. I don't need some stuck-up millennial bitch who's obsessed with harassing the libs of TikTok gal and having to spend all her time making retractions for waiting, writing fake articles you're just a total shit taylor <laughs> i'd be fucking lose your job again stupid bitch all right thanks for watching